Welcome, railway enthusiasts and lovers of steam heritage. Today, we're taking a journey back in time to explore one of the most iconic and innovative classes of the Great Western Railway, the magnificent GWR 3700, better known as the City Class. The story of the City Class begins in 1902 under the guidance of G.J. Churchwood, the visionary chief mechanical engineer of the GWR. He had already introduced radical ideas to steam locomotive design, and the 3700 series was his next bold step. The first City Class engine was not actually built new, but rather rebuilt. Number 3433 Mauritius, an Atbara class engine, was given a brand new taper boiler, the first of its kind on a GWR Express engine. This tapered boiler offered more efficient steam production and better weight distribution. Impressed by the performance, Churchwood ordered 20 new locomotives to this new specification between 1903 and 1905. Each one was named after a prominent British city, giving birth to the now famous City Class. The City Class was a 440 tender engine designed for high-speed express passenger work. It featured Churchwood's new number. Four taper boiler, a bell pair firebox, and inside cylinders with Stevenson valve gear. Around 1910, many of the class were upgraded with superheaters, piston valves, and steam reversers, improving performance and efficiency dramatically. Despite being relatively light and compact, these locomotives were powerful with a tractive effort of nearly 18,000 pounds. This made them ideal for the demanding routes between London Paddington and the West Country. But it was one locomotive that truly secured the city class's place in railway legend. Number 3,440 City of Truro On the 9th of May 1904, while hauling the ocean mails from Plymouth to Paddington, City of Truro reportedly reached a speed of over 100 miles per hour on the descent of Wellington Bank in Somerset. This feat, recorded by respected railway journalist Charles Rouse Martin, made City of Truro the first steam locomotive in the world to break the 100 miles per hour barrier, decades before the more famous Flying Scotsman achieved it officially. While the accuracy of the measurement has been debated, the record has never been definitively disproven, and City of Truro remains a cherished legend in British railway history. Despite their remarkable performance, the City Class engines began to be retired in the late 1920s as newer and more powerful locomotives like the Saint and Star classes took over. By 1931, all members of the class had been withdrawn, except one. Thankfully, number. 3,440 City of Truro was preserved. First restored for static display in 1957, she has since enjoyed multiple revivals and has even returned to steam on several occasions, delighting crowds at heritage railways and special events. Today, she rests at the National Railway Museum, a shining relic of the age of steam. The city class represented the pinnacle of early 20th century British locomotive design. Churchwood's pioneering work would go on to influence not just the GWR, but locomotive development across the world. And city of Truro, with her elegant lines and record-breaking run, has become a cultural icon, appearing in books, documentaries, and even children's television. This was more than just a locomotive. It was a symbol of progress, ambition, and British engineering at its best. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like, share it with your fellow railway fans, and don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating stories from the golden age of steam. Tap the bell icon to be notified the moment our next locomotive adventure goes live. Until next time, stay on track.